To solve number three, the first thing you want to assess is the problem. And as you can see, there's only one variable, which is a squared. So what we're going to do is we're going to isolate that variable. To do so, you're going to add three on each side. When you add three on each side, you're able to isolate a squared and have the constant on the other side. Now, to basically isolate the a, what we want to do is we want to take the square root of each side. And square root of a squared is a. And square root of 100 is 10. However, because this is a quadratic, we know there should be more than one answer. So to do so, we want to think of another number that can be plugged into a squared to make it equal to 100. So if you were thinking, oh, negative 10, you're correct. Because if we substitute negative 10 to a, it will be negative 10 squared, which is equal to 100. Negative 10 times negative 10 is, in fact, 100. And as you can see, they're the both the same answer. Therefore, a should equal positive 10, and a should equal negative 10. And to further your thinking process, you can also plug it in to, to the original equation, which is a squared minus 3 equals 97. And if you plug in negative 10 to a squared minus 3 equals it should equal 97, so negative 10 squared is 100 minus 3, which should equal 97 if it's true. And 97 does, in fact, equal 97. So we get a confirmation that this is the correct answer. So a does equal 10, a equals negative 10. Another short way to write this is a equals positive or negative 10. Both of these answers work.